four hours in the airport, like, by myself. Like, freaking out. You know what I mean? Didn't know a fucking thing, couldn't figure out what the fuck anything meant. You know, you think that there'll be like some sense, but I was helpless as a little lamb. I saw an ad by a woman who lived in Paris. She had a place that was close to the Eiffel Tower. She could only rent me the place from the day after I got in through the rest of my vacation. So the first day I had to find a hotel. And I found a hotel that was just close to the airport. What did you do for four hours in the airport? I walked around! <laughs> trying to understand. <laughs> I walked around and tried to interpret shit. Stressful and it was very hard, but it was it was you know what it was still cool. I'm glad I went. I'm glad I went. It was it was amazing. I can't believe I got tickets to the French Open. It was insane. It was um you know I'd done the trip to Versailles and I uh, I think I'd seen I'd already seen the Louvre. How much do you want for it? He said, Well, you know. My wife didn't want to come with me, so I've got this extra ticket, and I'm just, I'll am just i sell it to you. And of course, because it was his wife's ticket, then I'm sitting next to him <laughs> the whole time while we're up there, which was very lovely. Au saxophone bass, Monsieur Jean-Pierre Chaty des Folies Belleville. Au 
jazz, Monsieur Bébert Santiago du Tourbillon. It was a great experience. It was, it was, you know what? Oh, I'm glad it went.